Hey everybody and welcome back to my video. I'm actually gonna record this up close so you guys have this view too. So if you see me doing this, that's what this is. This is a pretty bumpy road. And uh, I just want to make sure. So as you can see, um, I actually ended up doing the update to 0.6. So 2020.28.6. And at this point, I can actually confirm that the no steering wheel nag in my car is unique to my car, but I thought it was gonna disappear when I did the update to 0.6, and it actually didn't. So whatever's going on is unique to my car. I wanna make that clear. Um, in the video, I was just going over what the update said based on my experience with the update day one. Usually when I do an update video, I do it day one, so you're getting it you know, in the time frame that I'm getting it. And uh, since I noticed that I didn't have to touch the steering wheel, I assumed that was everybody's update. Uh, but after going through comments and talking to other YouTubers, it is unique to my vehicle and my vehicle alone. So I wanted to do a follow-up video. I'm going to make it very clear that I'm not touching the steering wheel. This is going to be a long video. In fact, I'm going to record it probably 20 to 40 minutes um, just so if somebody really wants to watch the whole thing, they can. I'm not going to make any cuts and I'm getting on the freeway right now. Um, and this is going to be a long stretch where I don't have to touch uh, anything on the steering wheel. Because as you guys know, when you do autopilot on the freeway, now I'm not going to do full self-drive because it will want to lane change and you do have to have your hand on the steering wheel. But autopilot, I'm going to show you that I am in fact not getting steering wheel nag. Now, the reason I did the update is, uh, I don't know if you know this, but it's just as annoying to get the update nag as it is to get steering wheel nag in this car. So it's kind of like iCloud when your iCloud storage is running low and Apple continuously nags you until you say you'll pay money to upgrade it. That's basically what the Tesla was doing every time I got home. So now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put it into autopilot as soon as it gives me, there we go. Um, let's see, come on, there we go. I'm gonna set it to 80. Hopefully there's no cops. Actually, I'm gonna put my feet as straight as possible so you can see like my hands aren't touching the steering wheel right now. And there's a gap between my legs there. So we can verify that I'm not somehow hitting the steering wheel before it starts flashing. That's the other thing, um, doing this follow-up video, it'll actually flash when it wants you to grab the steering wheel. So it's unavoidable for me to you know, do something. You can see in the steering wheel, there's nothing in between these spots, no weights around my steering wheel. This is a legit test. And I'm gonna show you that it's not gonna nag me to grab the steering wheel. Now, I said in the other video I had it in for maintenance, um, or maybe I didn't, but I had it in for uh, maintenance with Tesla. Uh, one of the control arms went bad. I did a video on that, the squeaking wheel. And it could have been since then that it stopped giving the steering wheel nag. I don't know if they did anything within the steering wheel when they fixed that problem or disconnected some type of sensor, but it definitely is not giving me steering wheel nag again and doing an update, you'll see on the date that it was August 17th. So it was just barely that I did the update so I could show and uh, essentially show proof that my, my car is in fact not giving steering wheel nag. Now, I don't expect everybody to watch the full length of the video, but I am gonna just talk about a bunch of different things, uh, things that I wanted to have discussions on in general. I do wanna find out if anybody else has had this or had it in the past or noticed this because uh, it, it seems like it'd be weird if it was just my Tesla that's ever experienced it where it took away steering wheel nag out of nowhere or any type of feature in general. I know when uh, CF Tesla did his update video, he had to reset his console because it froze up. And uh, that's definitely like his car specific. But as far as other people out there, Model S, Model X, you know, um, have you guys ever noticed any type of thing, uh, feature getting taken away on an update and not being restored on the next update? Because remember, I did that update, lost it did 0.6 as an update thinking it would fix it and that's why it was nagging me so much and didn't fix it. So uh, obviously it's you know not an update thing, it's my car thing. 
and I'm just about to hit 50,000 miles. I think we're at 48,000 miles, which is crazy. Kind of shows you how much time I actually spend in this car because we got it at 33,000 miles, I think it was. I'd have to look back through the video and see, but I think it was 33,000 miles that we got this at. Um, so pretty crazy that we end up driving this much, but you can see why an electric car uh, was very enticing to us with the commute that I have. So uh, some of the things that I wanted to talk about, bring up and get some of your ideas in the comments is I've been reading a lot about the Cybertruck, really exciting things. Um, Elon Musk seems to love the Cybertruck and he's really, really pumped up about it. And so it seems like it'll be on the cutting edge of the technology has just like the Model S he seemed to put a lot of tender loving care into because he loved that car. And so, you know, him talking about how fast it'll charge just recently on Twitter, um, things of that nature, the battery capacity are really, really exciting things to me because, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, also, um, Tesla Roddy had a, an article that was talking about the next updates in the next few weeks. I think it was four to eight weeks from when the article was written that the alpha version that Elon Musk has been driving will most likely come as, you know, a beta version that will start rolling out to the Teslas as far as autopilot goes. And in that same uh, conversation or tweet or whatever it was within that article, he said that he can pretty much go to and from work on autopilot, also navigating through construction zones, because as many of you know, it definitely doesn't navigate through construction zones or follow cones uh, very well yet. And so it'll be exciting to see, you know, what rolls out with that update. Um, I'm going to have to end up changing lanes here soon in the next few miles. Cool thing is that car just like went over into my lane a little bit and it was already slowing down in preparations to that car cutting me off. Um, Another interesting thing with this update is I've noticed that I've gotten a lot more phantom braking. No reason at all on the freeway. It'll pump the brakes. I don't know if it's like reading the car's patterns next to me and it doesn't like the driving pattern or what's going on there. Um, but it, it definitely, you know, has points where it brakes pretty dang hard and I'm trying to figure out why it, it's doing that. But in, in my mind, I can't. There is one sp Space in particular on the freeway that it'll do it almost every single time to me and it's on my way home from work and if I'm in the carpool lane all of a sudden it'll pump the brakes and it's almost like it wants me to move over and so it's slowing down so I can move over but who knows um, I'm actually gonna move out of this guy's way here in a second I think I've gone long enough in this particular part of the drive to show you guys like hey i'm not getting steering wheel nag because it's usually every like 30 seconds or so but as you can see no steering wheel nag um that does count as a touch though so you could restart the clock right now and see how long it goes again um show that it's not like an interval thing but in fact an issue with you know my car and for me it's not an issue it's definitely more convenient not to have it nag me but um, as far as, you know, on the Tesla side, I'm sure it's a huge liability, oopsie, that mine doesn't do it. Who knows, maybe, you know, maybe I'm one of the cars that he's rolling it out to to see how well it works without the steering wheel nag if I'm still a, a driver that's attentive and pays attention and will take over when I need to. Um, <laughs> who knows, right? Like, I don't, I don't know how they do their, their beta testing or alpha testing or, um, you know, shadow monitoring of the code. I do know they have an engineering team that looks over that data all the time and uh, makes changes to it. And that's how we get our updates. So uh, very, very cool things. Now, what do you guys think of RoboTaxi being here by the end of the year? It still seems like Elon Musk is is very optimistic about RoboTaxi being here by the end of the year. Um, I'm actually probably going to end up taking over here. I, I just hit lanes again, so it restarts that clock. Um, but how do you? What do you guys think of that? Do you think RoboTaxi is going to be at a spot where? Um, you know, we'll, we'll start seeing it at the end of the year. That it'll have level five autonomy, I would assume, would be part of the robo taxi system. Um, that was one thing you mentioned before this year, because I would expect by the time my cyber truck comes in, that it, all of that will be fully rolled out and 
a, a really accessible thing for us Tesla users to be able to take advantage of. Having that truck is going to be phenomenal for that since it has the 500 mile range since we did the tri-motor. Um, really excited to do videos on that, by the way. That's going to be my all-time favorite car. It's grown on me a lot. You'll have to say in the comments also if you hate the design or love the design because I actually, I actually, the more I look at it, the more I love it. Um, I'm actually pushing the accelerator because I think that this goes kind of slow around this for me. Um, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a nudge as we go around here but still not touching the steering wheel. This is one of the most intense. I'm gonna have to move over a ton of lanes, so uh, bear with me as far as the no touching goes. And then we'll be on like our longest straightaway without touching the steering wheel within this drive. Maybe I'll put a link down in there so you guys can just skip to the longest part and you don't have to hear me ramble about different Tesla things. <laughs> oh, actually there's no lines here. So I'm just gonna fully take over in general cause I don't want the Tesla doing its own thing at some of the parts right here. So right here, they literally don't have lines as you can see. It actually does really well, but I, I wanna move over to the carpool lane. So I'm, I'm you know, impeded in my driving. So let's see. All right, we've got lines back. Just got to get over a couple more lanes and then we're good to go. Looks like I'm getting in right at an opening. Awesome. All right, gonna pop it back into autopilot here, throw it up to, oh, not 85, 80. All right, back to no touching here. Um, but yeah, what are you most excited about the Cybertruck or are you in the camp of people who think it's extremely ugly and would never have one? I think when you look at the different wrap designs that you can have, it actually becomes even more appealing than it has been, you know? Uh, the more and more I mess with it in Photoshop, the more I like it. <laughs> and I think that the only big thing that Laura's gonna want changed is she'll want the actual like she won't want actual wheels. She won't want the covers. So if you've got 500 mile of range, I'm sure you're not gonna mind losing, you know, even 50 miles of range in a day just to have nice looking wheels instead of the wheel covers. Um, one of the Photoshops I did, I actually wrapped just, just the, um, I don't even know what you would call it. It almost looks like the, the wheel part of the design. If you wrap that in just gold, um, a satin gold, and the rest of it's black and then you do satin gold on the trim with matte black wrap everywhere else it looked pretty sick that was probably one of my favorite ones i did um but you know let me know in the comments or link any of them that you might possibly have if you're gonna get it and then you know obviously i'd, I'd want to hear if any of the model y since it's closest to the model 3 have experienced you know what I'm going through right now where it's not giving the steering wheel nag once again I'm going to show rub my legs over here if I were hitting the steering wheel it'd be moving there's a gap enough that you know I'm not touching the steering wheel still not nagging right I can literally go my entire drive to work other than lane changes without touching anything and uh, super convenient I'm thinking of also doing a video of uh, accessories I have. I know there's tons of accessory videos out there. There's a few things that I've gotten that maybe people are interested in. Um, I'll give my take on what it's been like using some of the products that I have and uh, I can link some of them in the description so you guys could possibly check them out. Um, one thing that I am looking for, if anybody's got a good idea of this, is something to uh, you know do better or more sizes in the cup holder somebody i can't remember what video it was i saw it a long time ago but the person was saying that one of the reasons that the cup holders are so awkward in size is because they want you to use refillable 32 ounce cups which i could see like those mugs and stuff but um you know you can't always do that at least i can't always do that and i still have can waste because i do uh drink a lot of um, energy drinks from our business so uh, I have those and they're definitely a different size 
they're not one that fits in here and they always tip over so if you do have like one of those rubber inserts or even something with arms on it i'd love to see it love to see some of the idea and feedback that you guys have um, i'm always looking for something that'll enhance the experience in the car um, I, I, you're, you're probably seeing the mess of wires and cables. I'm going to have a much wider view in this video, obviously, so that you guys can see my body and that I'm not touching the steering wheel. But yeah, I'm hoping that as I start to get to the point of the mountain here, um, that's probably going to be enough in the video for you guys to see, you know, not, you know, not making it up that I'm not getting the steering wheel nagged. Didn't, I'm not a hacker, so um, definitely didn't hack my car and wouldn't want to ruin anything having to do with the warranty. So that's that's kind of where I'm at as far as that goes. But uh, any ideas in the description why this would have happened on an update or functionality or from a tech standpoint that might understand coding and Tesla's a little bit better, I would love to hear about it. Because like I said, literally I haven't found one person online that has had the same thing. I've gone to forums, um, looked at YouTube videos, and uh, you know, I either get comments back that like, no, you're still getting it, you just don't notice it, or um, one of them on my last video was just flat out, you're a liar, and you know, so that, that one was kind of funny. That's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to make this follow-up video is just to show you guys, you know, um, I have no purpose in lying, uh, no purpose in getting any type of clickbait out of my videos. I just want to provide content that I like and uh, which will include different things, different projects I do, uh, things that I, I care about and hopefully can help somebody out or they find entertainment value within doing it. Plus it, you know, it's just a hobby of mine that I like. So um, I'll always be driving my Tesla. One of the things that happened the other day, I don't know if it will be in good enough view, but I got hit with another rock. I've gotten a ton of rock chips on this. The owner before me got a bunch of rock chips as well, but that one over there was a doozy and I'm paying really close attention to it because I really don't want it to spider out. He actually did a pretty good job of filling it, but one of the cracks doesn't seem like the resin got inside of it very well. So I'm just going to pay attention to that. Part of the reason I don't want to get the windshield replaced is it has the ceramic tin. So with the ceramic tin, I don't want to go through the time waiting for him to reapply that as well. So if you're out there, take care of your Tesla glass. It's uh, not cheap. I think the front windshield is a thousand plus dollars to replace. And, you know, I'm, I'm assuming it's because of tech that's inside the actual glass. Also, I, I did want to, you know, ask people out there if they think that the Tesla is actually going to add side mirrors or if the cameras, the update with the backup cameras. And what I mean by that is this right here is going to replace that and if you hit your blinker if it's going to pop up the screen so that you can see it um, obviously their rear view mirror is actually a monitor so you can look at it and get the live view because if the tono cover is down you're not going to be able to see out of it well excuse me the vault <laughs> um, if the vaults you know down then you're not going to be able to see out of it so we're coming to the point of the mountain here and uh, still haven't touched the steering wheel. I'm not quite sure how long it's been. I know I started this drive at about 20 after, but I didn't start recording until about 30 after. So probably be out about 20 minutes at this point. This is about my halfway mark to home. Uh, so if you're trying to get an idea of how long of a commute I have, my commute one way is 44 miles. And, you know, so a round trip is 88 miles a day, five days a week. Not to mention that Laura and I have a business as well. And uh, when COVID's not in full force, we're traveling all over the valley as well for that. And then also traveling to places like Montana and California and Las Vegas and Denver and different places like that. Most of the time we fly, but I wouldn't mind doing a drive when you can sit back like this. Um, the other thing I'm, I kind of am wondering is if at the point where, you know, autonomy le reaches even like level four in a car, in the Tesla, if we'll be able to watch YouTube or something on the screen, because that would be awesome. I would love that. 
you've got this big old screen, but you really can only watch it if you're supercharging, which with, you know, everything going on, we're not really driving around and supercharging too often. I think I've only supercharged three times in this. And uh, I'll also have my uh, referral code in the, the description below. It's beneficial to both of us. If you're going to order a Tesla anyway, um, it'll actually give a thousand free supercharging miles. Um, I believe it is right now. I have to look at it, what it is, but I've got to start linking that because I do know that people do click through those and it would be a huge help if, if someone did, you know, for both of us, if we could get those miles and, uh, also it'll help me to see who's, you know, getting their new Teslas. I'm excited for people to do it. It's literally been one of my favorite dream cars. Having this car has been one of my dreams in a while, you know, which is interesting, you know, as a kid, I went from wanting Lamborghinis and stuff to now, you know, I, I like Tesla and the tech, but I think it's cause I've gotten really involved in tech in general. In fact, um, total side note, totally off the subject. Um, I'm looking at getting either the Note 20 Ultra, uh, cause I, I have my trade in. I do like the upgrade every next, you know, year. Cause I always get a new phone every year. And uh, I'm debating on the Note 20 Ultra or an iPhone 12. I'm currently on the iPhone ecosystem, but if the, if the iPhone 12 doesn't have a 120 hertz refresh rate screen, I think that's gonna do it for me. I do definitely like that smoothness. And there are certain things that are nitpicky in my opinion, but I don't like scrolling through uh, Facebook because it hurts my eyes. It has like a judder on the iPhone. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. And the high refresh rate gives a much smoother scrolling experience. And then also reading some articles. I'll, I'll scroll, you know, big sections of the articles and uh, it literally makes me dizzy. So I don't know where that comes from. Oh, everybody's pumping. Okay. Usually there's cops there and that guy have like hit the brakes hard. So, oh, there's tire pieces. Um, whew. looks like all the tire pieces were over there. That always makes me nervous because obviously the Tesla doesn't have small object detection. Um, or if it does, I don't, I'm not aware of it. I've had it move out of the way for like, or slam on the brakes for like dogs and stuff, but not, not debris in the freeway. You know, it'll just run right over a chunk of tire and that can obviously do a lot of damage. So, um, so this is actually one of the, the parts that I, I've showed this in a couple of my drives. This is the construction area. So we're going to see how point six is doing. Um, I think the car is pretty much adapted and learned to all the changes they've made. I've noticed that if you're in those two lanes over there, it doesn't do as well. Having the barrier to my left with the line actually keeps me in the lane really, really well. At times it'll feel uncomfortable, like it's going to go into the barrier, but uh, it never has. You know, I've never swerved too hard into it. Right here is a little bit tricky sometimes. So actually that that slowed me down a little bit more i don't know if it was the car in front of me so that it could handle that a little bit better so once again do the hands under here so you can see the gap between my legs and the steering wheel no objects on the steering wheel you know maybe i'll go like this too i'm gonna get an iphone video just so i can show you a close-up Woo! That actually got really close to the wall. That that was new. That was actually scary. Um, so here's here's my steering wheel. Let's go. Let's go like this. Steering wheel gap. No hands. No nag over there. Just driving. I cut this out of the last video, but I'll keep it in this time. This is where it actually stresses me out the most. I know it did go over the yellow line back at that spot. And uh, it was right when I was grabbing my iPhone, which is really unfortunate for timing. Don't, don't drive, you know, distracted like I just did 
for that shot. You know, most of the time I'm still looking for it and everything, but um, right up here is where it gets kind of crazy coming out of this because it's so windy, so tight. It'll actually pull me in really close to this wall in general because of where the yellow line is. Um, I've got the video up here so you can see how I how close I actually get. Most of the time it just feels like I get close. This little jut out right there, I swear they do that just to test the Teslas. <laughs> Alright, coming out of here. Ooh, okay. Yep, that's definitely uncomfortable right next to this car. And then I'm gonna come around this. Uh, I'm gonna be ready, you know, just to touch the steering wheel if I absolutely have to. But should be able to do it though. Okay. Okay, that car's coming. All right, I took over there. <laughs> I didn't trust that. I don't think it was gonna hit that car, but that one stressed me out. That actually felt a lot worse than um, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 felt a lot smoother on that. I don't know if I have to like go through and, and relearn a little bit, but um, I guess that ends like the, you know, the streak of me not touching the steering wheel there. And uh, I think this is probably a good place to end the video. I don't think you guys need to see my full drive home here. I think it's safe to say that, you know, my steering wheel nag is gone for now. You know, maybe that'll change the next time I take it in for service. And, uh, you know, maybe they'll push an update to my car. I thought the 0.6 update for sure was to fix that because I didn't have 0.5 for very long before it started cramming 0 0.6 down my throat but if you like this video like comment subscribe i know this video was uh geared towards just you know specific people who wanted to see if i was legitimately having you know no steering wheel nag um, but if you did like comment subscribe uh it really helps the channel i'm really grateful for every subscriber i have